Today, the United States can proudly say that most of the top institutions globally are located in our nation. So where did it start? For hundreds of years, our methods of teaching have evolved and improved. We now need to bring our schools to the next level, simply because they lack the ability to instill within students the desire and incentive for knowledge. I'm Kira Maniar, and I believe that education is the foundation for success in every individual. However, most students do not enjoy learning. Our current student dropout rates are higher than ever before. This bluntly shows us we need to enhance the learning environment in order to cultivate a thirst for knowledge among pupils. This ultimate goal is possible through the realization of dreams. Every middle school child has a dream. The job of education is to equip the students with the ammunition required to achieve their goals. Disney shouldn't be the one to make these dreams come true. Connecticut Public Schools should. Public schools offer an equal opportunity for learning to all children. What is the point of this system if it does not give the child what they need to achieve their goals for the future? The bottom line is that there is a need to motivate students. How you achieve that can be done in multiple ways. Hello again. Using passions in the classroom as an example to find parallels can help students in understanding a new topic. It allows them to realize interests of theirs that they never even knew existed. Can teachers implement students' interests in lessons to teach them new things? I think this style of teaching um, in which students are able to explore uh, their interests, um, see that their students are focused, students are more uh, responsible. There's a fire starting in John's heart. These girls took their favorite song and rewrote lyrics that pertain to the historical lesson and also realized that they really enjoy and are capable of singing. This method of using passions to find parallels in teaching is seldom being administered among the majority of middle school classes. Why shouldn't it be used? It allows the student to better understand the topic, explore various potential hobbies, and step outside of their comfort zone. 84% of students believe that their passions should guide the teacher's teaching styles. Incorporating passions also subconsciously forces students to remain absorbed. Can teachers implement students' interests and lessons? If you have a passion for it, you're more likely to give up your own time to pursue it. Teachers and students alike agree that this method of teaching works. It is a proven fact. Now, all that's left to do is try to implement it in the daily routine of the teacher's lesson plans. Another major benefactor in the education of students is self-discovery. Giving the kids the ability to explore ideas and conclude the answer to a topic of their own accord is a great way of teaching. Can students learn better by discovering topics by themselves rather than having the teacher state it bluntly to them? There should be a major part of the school that's, that's involved in student exploration and discovery. This class is driven by the kids, and each individual is engaged in the learning experience. The kids here are learning by exploring and working together. Experience, what do you think is most successful at motivating students to want to learn? If you put a question in your head, you pursue it, and you try to answer it. Students who discover answers to questions by themselves will also feel a sense of ownership over the topic. Technology is rarely being used in the classroom. Instead, it is banned in many schools. But why should such a beneficial tool be forbidden? Kids growing up in the most advanced era should be taught how to use the devices that will come in handy to them in every task they take on. How do you think technology can benefit students? Technology helps with the whole concept of any time, any place. The use of technology also allows kids to stay in touch with the world. In this class, students are using iPads to display their knowledge of certain topics that they've researched. How do you think technology can benefit students? It could be used to really open up the kid to allow them to do something that they might have never thought of before. There are at least five to seven unused flat screen TVs in every school in my district. Instead of spending valuable money on such wasted items, why not invest in smart boards for every class, or miniature laptops or iPads for the students? 97% of middle schoolers say that the use of technology would benefit them in the classroom. Students can only achieve dreams for the future if they are prepared for the future. Students need not be bribed into learning. Our public schools need to develop an unquenchable thirst for intelligence among all students. We must be the ones to bring this long-needed formula for success to the students. It is required now, therefore it needs to be delivered today.